Mark Denham at Breakfast Podcast. Hello, welcome to episode 241 of the best bits of the Atom Radio Breakfast Show. And this is Mark Denham. And here we are on Saturday, 28th of October, when this releases. What that does mean is that this is the longest two day weekend of the year because the clocks go back. Again, I suppose that depends on where you're listening as well, given that this is a podcast and you could be listening at any time, anywhere. But if you are listening in the UK on the day it comes out on the 28th, then uh, the clocks will go back overnight tonight and you will find that you gain an hour. On the way in the podcast this week to celebrate, we've got a lot of holiday, dream come true money, car buying, farting, turning down the trip of a lifetime, sex on TV and more all on the way. Mark Denham at Breakfast Podcast. That's some radio Monday morning. Mark Denham at Breakfast, banging out the anthems, and I hope that I find you well today. And I hope all is good. Australia has over ten thousand beaches, and you can visit a new beach every day in Australia for over twenty-seven years. Imagine trying to put in the annual leave request for that, though. It may get turned down. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. Now, back on Friday, when we were cut off in our prime, I thought that we would talk about a relationship expert, a relationship coach, who wanted to identify the three red flags that you should look out for early in a relationship. But I don't want to talk about those. What I want to talk about instead is this relationship coach is apparently a relationship coach because they have a TikTok channel. The essential qualification, it would appear, for being some form of coach or guru in 2023 is to be able to voice your opinion on TikTok. What I want to know, therefore, is if you could be a coach in anything, what would you want to be a coach in? All right? On air at asaradio.co.uk is my email address this Monday morning. As we eventually get round to the business of what I had for Friday, we'll do it today. What would you be a coach in if you could be a coach in anything? Morning, Warren. And uh, happy Monday to you, my friend. Warren says, I'd like to be a fashion coach. And the top tip I would have is to tell people to stop going out in their pajamas. And yes, yes. I mean, if you're going to the bin uh, and it's early doors uh, or indeed late at night, then yeah, that's fine. But if you're actually going out, out, why are you going out, out in your pajamas? You should go to Warren and get coaching on how not to wear your pajamas when you go out. Although, all that said though, Warren, I think it was Tuesday last week, I was driving to the school run in the afternoon, and this was probably about 20 to 3, right? So we're not talking early doors, and we're not talking bedtime either, when I did see a lady walking along in her pyjamas and slippers and a dressing gown. And I thought, what on earth, at 20 to 3, have you not managed to get dressed yet? But there she was, in her pyjamas yesterday, so, uh, sorry, last Tuesday. So if ever then, you become a coach, Warren, in fashion, uh, this lady needs to find her way to you for definite. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. And I love this from Greg Morning, and thank you for your email. I wouldn't do any coaching. I'd just sit back and watch the disasters unfold, because that's often more fun than actually giving anyone any advice. Cheers, Greg. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Lottery winner used cash to practice his sport until he played for England. Neil Jones had just £13 in his pocket when he and his partner won life-changing cash. Uh, Now he does actually play pool for England. Well done. The couple from Stoke-on-Trent decided to finish the year with their old life before starting a new one on January the 1st in 2011. Uh, And in one of his first purchases as a national lottery millionaire was a pool table uh, and he went on to go and play for England. See, now that, that I suppose is the definition of life-changing cash, is it not? Good luck to you tonight if you are doing Euro Millions. Mark Denham at breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Let's count down the top five of outrageous reasons you've ever had for buying a car. At number five, I turned down a car because the infotainment screen wasn't working. At number four, I bought a car I couldn't afford just to make sure I outdid my brother and his first car. And number three, I bought my car just because it was pink. And number two, I bought an old banger just because it had a body kit and a sub. And at number one, from my sole twin, I bought a Ford Capri just because it was driven in the professionals. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Welcome to Wednesday, and if you are someone that does the audible trump a lot, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Well, farting helps reduce high blood pressure and is good for your health. Therefore, 
fire away. And if anybody says anything, just say, I'm only helping out my own health. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. 7.16, morning, morning, morning. Mark Denham at breakfast, banging out the anthems on Atom Radio. Uh, Wednesday, 25th of October it is today. And last night, we was sat at home watching the telly last night, Tuesday, 24th of October. And there were fireworks going off. And I don't know why. It's not the 5th of November yet. I don't know why. I know that it does get dark early now. But why are you setting fireworks off on the 24th of October? And that wasn't the first time either. There were some going off at the weekend as well, which again, wasn't fireworks night. Now I get it. Like the 5th of November this year, the 5th of November happens to fall on a Sunday. So you'll probably get some going off on the 3rd, some on the 4th, some on the 5th. Uh, and those will be the displays and that, and that's absolutely fine, okay? Not a problem with fireworks going off on the uh, 3rd, 4th, or 5th. But why on earth are they going off last night, eh? I'm just trying to sit there watching my telly, and yet people are letting fireworks off on the 24th of October. I don't know. Some people just have more money than sense, don't they? Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. A lady is dumping her boyfriend because he bought her tickets to go on a luxury cruise for her birthday and on the uh, on the face of it it seems quite ungrateful doesn't it you know it seems like quite a nice present and then she's gonna end him for it she's taken to the internet and she wanted some validation for her decision she has gone on to explain though however that he doesn't listen she is incredibly seasick and he ignored that when booking it Uh, She's also got tickets to go to a festival on the same dates as the cruise already. And he knew that. And she reckons that he's booked it uh, just to put his own needs first because he wants to go on the cruise. Today, therefore, I want to know on air at atomradio.co.uk what birthday gift from you would be enough to end a relationship? And we'll start with Jill. Morning to you. And Jill says... Anything that involves flying because I'm scared to fly. And most people who know me know that about me as well. Therefore, if they were to do that, then they would know that I wouldn't enjoy it in any way whatsoever. Do you know what, Jill? I'll let you into a secret, right? Now, some people will say, I never win anything. I won, I think I was about 18 or 19 at the time. And I won a uh, a luxury holiday to Australia in a competition. It was first class travel and everything. But I said, no, thank you, because I don't like flying. And I said, no, thank you. And I did ask if we could put it in my parents' name. And they were like, no, 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 it has to go in your name. You're the winner. So I thought, ah, all right, no, redraw it then. Give it to someone else. And I gave it away because of that very, very reason, Jill, which when I look back now, you know, like it was a trip of a lifetime. And I gave it away because I was scared of flying. But yeah, I get what you're saying, though, Jill. If you are scared of flying and someone were to get you any birthday present or whatever that involves flying, clearly they've taken no account whatsoever of your likes and dislikes. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Atom Radio Morning. Welcome to Friday at 6.20. It's Mark Denham at breakfast. Cleaning can help curb depression. This is genuine, this. Cleaning can help curb depression. I hate cleaning. Now, don't get me wrong, I do it because obviously I live on my own and if I didn't do it, it wouldn't get done and it does need doing. But would I do it to curb depression? Absolutely not. The thought of having to do it gets me down. I can't see, therefore, how cleaning could in any way whatsoever help curb depression, but apparently it does. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Gen Z have revealed what they think is the biggest turn-off in terms of television. And the biggest turn-off for Gen Z audiences is sex. They want less sex on TV and more friendships. Nearly half of those born between 96 and 2012 have agreed that sex is not needed to drive parts. A departure from the recent X-rated shows like Euphoria and The Idol, 51.5% of today's adolescents want to see more content focused on friendships and platonic relationships. 44.3% state that romance is overused in the media. Today, therefore, I would like to know from you what, if you saw it on TV, would be more than likely to make you want to turn off the TV. On air at asamradio.co.uk in 2023, what is wrong with the television? What would you see? And you're going to think, oh, no, I'm going to turn it off or at least turn it over. What would it be for you? On air at atomradio.co.uk. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast.
Oh, oh. Now, there used to be a belief, didn't there, that sex sells. And that's obviously changed a lot of recent, uh, you know, and you used to think of the, the you know, uh, the motor show and stuff like that and, and boxing and everything. And there used to be a, belief, uh, be a belief that sex appeal sold. And now, obviously, Gen Z are bucking that trend massively, saying we want less sex on TV. You know what, though? Uh, people moan about millennials, don't they? I think Gen Z may be even more entitled than millennials. But anyway, uh, happy Saturday, launch day for this Indeed Here podcast. A gentle reminder for you that you can subscribe. Now, you can uh, you can grab this on YouTube, so you can subscribe on YouTube and tick the bell and you'll get notified of future uploads, including the daily uploads as well or if you are listening on your favorite podcast host on your iphone or your android again click subscribe and you will get notified automatically when the next episode is out episode 242 and a reminder for you you can always get the links to the podcast on our social media facebook twitter or x as it is now and instagram at ucat and radio you can always check out the show live it happens monday to friday six until ten on atomradio.co.uk on the online radio box app on tune in and on streamer mark denham at breakfast podcast